This weekend, we're gonna be camping in this uh, sweet little beauty right here. What's up guys? We do all kinds of different types of camping. We do backpacking, rooftop tent camping, moto camping, RVing, car camping. This weekend, we're gonna be camping in this uh, sweet little beauty right here. This is a cargo trailer converted to a RV slash uh, camper. So uh, we converted the inside so we can sleep in it, stuff like that. Uh, we also plan on doing a, a little bit of scouting, hopefully a little off-roading, check out National Forest. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button, push the subscribe button and click the little bell to get notified. Hopefully we have uh, all kinds of cool stuff that you like. So uh, let's get to it. So let's get at it. Let's go after it. Let's get her on. Here we go. Well, we made it. Uh, didn't get to record anything because obviously it's dark outside. We're gonna do uh, a lot of the recording tomorrow, but since this isn't your normal campground camp spot, we got pizza. So they have a whole uh, pro shop here and they cook pizzas and the pizzas are pretty good. So we're gonna eat pizza and call it a night. We'll be uh, having our little adventure tomorrow. That's it for now. All right, so I just want to give a little update. I just woke up, it's about uh, nine o'clock. So we slept for about 10 hours, which is pretty nice. Definitely needed it. It was uh, kind of hard to get to sleep at first because I could just barely hear somebody's music. Just enough to be really annoying. I couldn't hear it. Yeah, but I could. And you could just, it's just barely enough to where you could tell what it is. Or just to hear it going meh, meh, meh. So I ended up turning our air conditioner on and it drowned it out and uh, then we slept like a baby. Uh, another thing that we're gonna go over later is this mattress we got on Amazon. It's a memory foam mattress for the futon and this thing is like sleeping on a cloud compared to uh, uh, camper mattresses and air mattresses and stuff like that. Yeah, this, regular futon mattresses. this thing is like where it's at. This is what you need. This is like we planned. The weather people got it right. It's been raining pretty much all night long. Uh, that's probably what you hear in the background. So we're gonna wake up, get some breakfast, make some coffee, and uh, hopefully get to it in the rain. But we'll get back to you a little bit.
And now we are in National Forest. This is Mark Twain, National Forest right here. So that would be a campsite we could camp at if we were, you know, trying to find somewhere to camp. But we already have somewhere for the night. Oh yeah, that's, it's a nice big site. Clearly somebody was out here shooting something. Oh, look at all the tree. Another possible campsite. It's not as roomy as the other one, but it would do. Possible campsite number three. Uh, grass and weeds are a little tall, but other than that, it seems pretty good. No trash in this one. Yeah, so we just crossed into private lands. We're not in the forest anymore, but the road is still a forest road that goes through the private land. You can tell it all on uh, the guy GPS. Here's what we're using. It says keep out. So obviously you can drive on this road, but you can't uh, stop off and camp until you get back to the forest land. All that quick, we're back in the forest. So on the Gaia GPS, I was looking, and it looks like we can take this road here down to a river. There should be a really good camping spot right by the river. So it shows that it, it goes to a church, and then after you pass the church, you keep on going, you should go all the way down. So we wouldn't find this road if we didn't look at Gaia. We would never know that there's a, a camping spot down here. I also think it started raining harder. It's not as close to the river as we thought it was going to be. But... Oh my buddy, stop!
just got back from uh, our exploring on the forest roads and it is still raining. Yeah, it's just enough to annoy you pretty much. Uh, it's not like a heavy downpour or anything, but annoying. So now everything is a uh, big soupy mess. Okay. Yep, so now we're just gonna uh, do some stuff around here and uh, there's some night activities we're gonna do and uh, we'll get Catch back. Catch you later. Catch you later. Catch you later. Catch you later. See ya. Well, it's morning time and check it out. Not raining. Finally. Uh, so last night we had a couple interesting things. After it did stop raining and we could have a fire, we come back and the fire pit was completely filled with water. So we ended up having to take our handy little uh, hey. deuce, the deuce, up. the deuce trowel, and dig it out. So this is where uh, we had to pretty much dig all of this out to drain it because we tried to lift it up and it would just all just sit there in the puddle. So. Um, we had to drain it. So that was a good time. So then we also had this random dog coming around. It's like a, a brown lab, chocolate lab, I guess it is. And it wouldn't come close to us. But we, we kept trying, we kept trying to lure it in because so, it had a collar. And we even went inside and got some of my delicious bacon. And it still wouldn't come close to us. So then we had to leave in the truck uh, to go up the road for a couple minutes. And I left the bacon in the cup holder of my chair and we come back and the chair was knocked over and the bacon was gone and he ate a hole through my cup holder. So that's... And then we didn't see him again the rest of the night. Yeah, so that's what we get for trying to be nice to a stray dog. So now I have one less cup holder. Uh, so now this morning we're just going to kind of uh, back up. Here's what we look like in the morning. Not very much stuff because it was raining, but hey, we have this little, uh, little fella here. We got this little thing here for our water. Hey, get... no, no. <laughs> Where did you come for that? So, uh. Call the Helio. Yep. By Nemo. So that's it. We'll show you the inside here in a little bit. So here's the inside of the trailer um, in the morning before we pack it all up. So we pretty much keep all of our stuff in bins and the toolboxes, the rigid toolboxes, because we can put those all in the back of the truck when we're doing little uh, day trips and stuff without a trailer and they're waterproof. So we have a little uh, bed here for the little chitlin. In this trip, we brought the daughter with us. The table right here that pulls up, but we put it down so she doesn't hit her head on it. We have another table. Oh, here's my uh, delicious breakfast. We have another table here that folds up that we can use, but we fold it down so we can walk through. Then it has two stools. Here we have a full-size futon with the Amazon memory foam mattress. We ditched the original futon mattress because it was awful. And this one is pretty much like sleeping on a cloud and it folds up and you can use it as a normal futon. Then we have the main event here, the turlet. This thing is pretty awesome for a portable toilet. Um, we'll have more on that later. Uh, nightstand, got the microwave, got the cabinet, cabinet, cabinet. We got the rope lights. Party time. And we have a semi mini fridge. Cool thing about the fridge is we have it plugged into an inverter. So even whenever there isn't shore power, we can use the fridge. That's what that black outlet is. I have a whole review on the whole trailer in another video, but we figured we'd just give you kind of an idea what it looks like when we wake up in the morning. We'll uh, come back and show you what it looks like when we're all packed up. All right, so here it is all packed up and fully loaded. See the futon converts to a couch, which makes it really nice. It's got the whole, uh, stains on here that was a grease incident whoops yeah so you can pretty much sit down there's the toilet again and uh, during the day you have a nice little seating area so you don't have just a wasted bed a lot of people build a bed into the walls and stuff like that we decided not to do that because we wanted somewhere to sit and see the doors right there you have the nightstand we folded up right there fridge is there microwaves right there so uh, um, over there you can fold that table up and have somewhere to eat. 
then let's move over here. You have this table over here that folds up. And uh, you can also eat there or prepare stuff over there. This here is a cabinet that we got at Lowe's that we just put it together. It's like an armoire. I think it's the fancy name of it. And uh, I'll show you the inside, but it's pretty messy. But one side is uh, hanging clothes and the other side is all our other kind of just random gear and stuff. It's got the uh, screens. So when it's really nice outside, we can leave the back down, put the screens in and have fresh air. So here is a futon in assault mode. This is folded up, so it's not a bed anymore. It's the couch version. Behind there is our power station. So we have a battery and an inverter and a battery charger and all the shore power and stuff is inside that cabinet. We'll show you that in another video too. I think that's about it for now. Well, we made it back, had a pretty good time. Uh, if you like watching the video, we'll have plenty more to come. Now, this is the beauty of having uh, a truck as our vehicle because you know we can use the tent, we can use the trailer, uh, we, we have a whole lot of different options and we can take it anywhere we wanted to go. So if you like the video, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, we'll have a whole lot more out coming here soon. Some videos about our gear, more adventures, uh, review video, stuff like that. Just pretty much anything that we think you might find useful. So we'll see you next time.